What's up guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com In this video, I'll be creating this Halloween costumes web banner and I got this idea from bananarepublic.com They had this banner that you see right here and it's fall season right now so I thought it would be perfect time to create something like this since uh, Halloween is just around the corner so to create this final result, I downloaded three assets from creativemarket.com. And if you don't know, um, Creative Market, once a week, you can download six free goods. And these are only valid for, I mean, available for six days, seven days, sorry. So after the seventh day, um, they have a new set of graphics that you can download for free. And once you download them, you can, you know, keep them forever pretty much. So the first graphic that I'll be using here is called the Rude Cookie font that I downloaded. And this is the font that I used to create Halloween costumes 2015 that you see right here. And I just like the look of uh, this particular layout that he did. Uh, the creator of this font, he has some other layouts that he created with this, obviously. And he customized these as well. And below right here, you can like you know type in whatever you want to see what the font will look like. And it, I believe it comes with uh, five different fonts once you download this one. And then the second set of graphics I'm using um, are these um, two pumpkins and the cat. And this one's called the watercolor Halloween clip art. And the last one is actually a free one they can download this week. It's called the fall Halloween color papers. And I'm using uh, these two leaves from that asset so to create this result I'm gonna be I'll be using Adobe Photoshop but you can also use Pixlr by going to pixlr.com which is a free uh, photo online editor that you can use um, I'm using Photoshop because I'm just used to using the software and Pixlr is just a, a simplified version of the Photoshop so the size of this is 720 by 720. So I'm just going to go to File, New, and make sure the width and the height is 720, and click OK. And I'm just going to put this window next to the, the final graphic, and I'm just going to use that as a, as a reference. Let me just make this 150%. OK. So the first thing I have to do is import the background. I'm just going to go to File, Open, and open the uh, the JPEG. And this photo I just downloaded from the uh, internet. I'm just going to drag this just by clicking it. Click, hold, and drag. And I'm going to close this window. And basically, I have to resize this. To do that, I go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And I'm going to scale it down. Okay, I think it can be a little bit bigger. Now, obviously, when you're creating this, you don't have to be exact. You can just play around. So, and if you don't have the exact same assets, you know, you can either create your own or download As something. You can see here from the internet. The background it doesn't stretch all the way to the right. It's just one, pretty much one color. So you can pretty much extend this all the way to the right. And to do that, just select the Marquee tool. And I'm just going to grab a, select the, the end of it right here. Like so. And then I'm going to scale it just uh, horizontally, okay? So you can go to Edit, Transform, and Scale again. And this time, just grab this handle right here and just stretch it to the right, as you can see. And that's how you stretch it. Now this works because the background is simple. So next, let's create Halloween costumes 2015. So the font I'm using, I said, is the Rude Cookie font. And I just like the look of this one here, like I said. So I'm just going to my text tool. I'm just going to start typing in here. Halloween. OK. Oops, I have an extra W here. Delete that. 
And the font, I'm going to change down here. It's the uh, root cookie brush. That's the font that I used. And for the color, I got to change the color. So I'm just going to grab, click on this swatch at the top. And just that you're going to see the uh, eyedropper. I'm just going to click right here to make it the same color and click OK. I just noticed that I forgot to put an extra E here. And drag it over to your right. And let's make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to select all here. Right now it's set to 100 points. And let's make it 110. Okay, just going to move that to the right. And for the costumes, it's from the same family but different font. So let's type costumes. Okay, drag it over to your right. And let me just check what I used for this font here. It's called the Rude Cookie Quick. So I'm going to change this font to Rude Cookie Quick. Okay. Now another thing I noticed that here uh, as default the baseline is same and one of the reason I like this um, look is that the baseline is not straight uh, you know it's got the f individual fonts uh, they're positioned in a different different uh, vertical height basically so to achieve that in Photoshop you can do this pretty easily I'm just gonna go to the character tab and I'm going to select the uh, individual letters here and then move this thing called, uh, I believe, set the baseline shift. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Sorry. Move that up. Move the S up. Like so. And then for the uh, S, I made it bigger. So I'm going to scale up the S a little bit. Okay. And let me move this letter T up a little bit as well. Now, obviously, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Uh, the whole point is that, you know, you can play around till you find something that you like. There's no, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just to let you know. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to move that to the right. And then move it up a little bit and finally the uh, 2015 here this one is called rude cookie brush that's what I'm using so 2015 change that to brush and then let's move this over to the right like so that looks pretty good next I'm gonna create this rectangle and shop now so I'm going to grab this marquee tool from the toolbox and just draw a rectangular shape. Okay. Just going to make it a little long. And then I'm going to fill it in. So go to edit. Uh, before I do that, i got to create a new layer here. Let's do that. Create a new layer. I'm just going to call this one button. And then I'm going to call, fill it in, go to edit, fill, and then fill it with the foreground color that I have here. Next, I'm going to type the uh, shop now. And for this, I'm using a font called Gotham. And let's change the font. And I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to change the color to white. So I'm going to click the swatch, change that to white. And let's make it all caps. So if you click on this button right here, all caps, it will change that to all caps. And let's change from thin to book to give it more weight. And let's scale it down even more. Let's go to like a 45. That looks pretty good. And then move over to the right. 
Okay, so next we need to have these two pumpkins and the cat. So let me go to File, Open, and then let me see what those are. Here where they are. I'm gonna select the three files here. Click Open. Okay, so I have the two pumpkins and the cat. So I'm gonna drag, click and drag into this window right here. Obviously it's too big, so let me scale it down. Okay. Oops. Scale it down. Press enter. Let me move it to the right a little bit here. Scale it down. Okay. That looks pretty good. Let's move it to the right and scale it down even more. Okay. Next, let's grab the uh, the cat. And then scale it down. Okay, that's too big. Something around there looks pretty good. And then let's grab the uh, the last pumpkin. Close that. Let's drag this over in here. And let's close this window and scale this one down like so and then move over to the right and then somewhere there looks pretty good so that's how I created that now if you look at here I still have the two leaves and for those let me go ahead and open that image Okay, so let's select the fall to that JPEG. I'm gonna click open. And what I did is I just grabbed a couple of these and then dragged it in here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna select the the lasso tool and let's draw a couple. I think which one did I pick? This one right here. Like so. Just draw a shape around it and let's grab the move tool and then move it over. Make sure you have the mouse inside the shape and then drag it in here. Obviously it's too big so let me scale it down. And you can use a control T, that's the shortcut to scale things down. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now if you notice we got this white around and the easiest way to get rid of this here is um, they're diff I can use a transfer mode and what this would do is interacts with the other layers and by choosing the multiply it kind of gets rid of the white around it so that it blends in better with the background. And then the other one, other leaf I have down here, the bottom right here so let's grab the other one, pick the lasso tool, and then just draw a shape around the leaf. Okay, select the move tool again, and then click and drag. And let me just scale this one down again as well. And then I'm going to change the transfer mode to multiply. Let me close this window and there you have it and I think that took me like a few minutes to create. It didn't take too long. Um, the point is um, you got to play around that's the thing and you know, obviously I didn't get this a result from the first go I was playing around to I found something happy basically and that's the part that's gonna take the most time but once you're happy with it you know you can save this as a JPEG Go to File, Save As. Actually, you can go to File, Save for Web. 
so that it will create a smaller uh, file size and then click save and just you can uh, save it to your desktop or whatever anyways I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful uh, you can download the the same graphic assets by looking at the link below this video and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time